My name is Roger Hines, and this is Harper Road between the, um, the New Kent Road and Borough High Street, just off uh, Elephant and Castle. And uh, we're pretty much at the back of, of all of that in a post-war council flat um, consisting completely of bed sets. The building has come to the end of its useful life, and so this insertion, this, this this sort of final procedure is the last thing that will happen to it. So in a way the, the procedure is it's kind of an unusual ending to a building perhaps. We've crystallised the interior of a bed set. The um, entirety of the room um, has been coated in, in copper sulphate so we flooded um, in its entirety. I think it was something like 90,000 litres of copper sulphate liquid. We basically reinforced the flats, we reinforced the, the area, and then we poured in boiling hot liquid, um, uh, super saturated copper sulfate into it, and basically we just sat around and waited and see what happened, see what aesthetic it is that we would gain. We were aware that the possibility of corruption, perhaps the material itself could have been completely corrupted by the materials that were already in the flat. We could have ended up with something which was like a, a grey or a brown mass. And then the crystallisation we got was more than we probably assumed that we would get. You, know, you, you walk in and it's the purest thing, it's untrodden, it's rather like the moon perhaps, and now it's unpure because the, the participants, the people that go inside, are, are, are playing a part in its decay, in its, in its failure, in its, uh, in its collapse. You'll have people trampling it underfoot. This, this kind of pure crystal is not pure anymore. It's got contaminants. The, the viewer itself is a contaminant. And so it's very interesting to, to kind of see how the, the work will aesthetically change. It's a, a piece which can sort of offer a certain level of spectacle that you want to just be immediately engaged and then, and then you want to disengage yourself in, in, immediately too, then I think it's a piece of work that can actually achieve that. And I think also as well that then you can actually, if you want to have a little bit longer as a, as a reading, you can actually read the clues, read the signs uh, that the work is offering perhaps, and, uh, and then that, that might give a completely different reading because its making is complicated and slightly strange. There was a lot of science involved, there was a lot of, but it's not a scientific project. We've been on an interesting journey to, to actually achieve this piece.